hi guys welcome back to my kitchen so in today's video i am showing you guys how i make my fever leaf potato red oil potato greens i already seasoned all my meat i have a lot of different type of meats in here you can use whatever kind of meat that you want to use and don't be alarmed the meat is a lot because i am making two soup it's my day off so i'm just taking this time to cook the household food for the whole week so yeah now i'm just cutting my greens i am cutting four bundles of greens it actually took me about one hour and 30 minutes and i was also doing other things while cutting the greens so yeah that's why it took so long and i am not the best greens cutter in the world i just cut it to my liking or however way that i could do it so it don't cut me so yeah this is my greens after i cut it after cutting my greens now i'm just adding my red oil to the pot you could add your red oil to your pot i mean you could add your red oil to your soup after it's cooked you, there's many ways to um, make this dish you don't really have to follow how i do it i like it like this because i like when the oil and the greens like mix together it will it smells so delicious like i just love it anyways after adding my oil to the pot and it got and it heated up i just added my onions and you're just gonna cook the onions for about a little bit until you see like a few of them like starts not burning but like cooking and it gets soft just like this once you see like some of the um onions are starting to burn a little bit or start overcooking it's time for you to add your um your greens to your soup you just want to stir the um onions around a little bit it just released like the smell is just amazing and you can use more onions if you want i just use one onion some people use about three or four onions it's up to you however amount of onions you want to use that's the only onion i had i forgot to get more onions so that's why i'm only using one but anyways once you add your greens to the um oil and the onion oh my god the smell just it just take over the, like the whole house it smells so good and also you will notice that once you start stirring and the oil and the grain starts mixing the greens will start like losing like its form it'll get like smaller and smaller as you're stirring or as it's cooking that is why when you are cooking greens you don't want to only use one bundle you want to either use three or four bundle depending on how big your bundles are if you want a lot of soup you'll need to add more more bundles if you want a little bit of soup you'll need to use less bundle but just know as the greens cook they reduces and okay so now i'm just washing my my fever leaf i just had it sitting in this water the whole time that i was making my green i was cutting my greens i just had it sitting in the water so it could like separate i don't know why we wash it to be honest with you because sometimes i just take it from the bag and i put it in the in the pot but most of the time i like to wash it because this is what i see I'm just going to stir the greens a little bit. And as you can see, it's less than what I started with. And that is def that is totally normal. It just happens with greens. Like i'm adding my um fever leaf and yep i s ended up sifting the rest of it that i could not squeeze out and i'm just adding the rest and i love 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 the to actually taste the fever leaf in the soup so that is why i'm adding a little bit of the water that i squeezed from the leaves ac the actual leaves so that's why i'm adding a little bit there so i can actually taste it and smell it and yeah I don't like when I cook my fever leaf and then I don't even smell it. Like you, sometimes you need a lot of fever leaves, but when you add a little bit of the water, you actually get like the taste and the smell that you want. And I also added all my raw meats that don't really need like to take, don't really need to be cooked with the other meats, like my pork, my dry fish, dry chicken. And I also added the gizzard 
like you don't really need to cook those meats for a very long time so after adding all my seasonings and my raw meats i just allow it to cook for about 30 minutes and also i also forgot to add do not add too much water to this i really didn't other than the the fever leaf water i did not add any other water to the to the to the stack to the greens because potato greens already have its own um water in it so as it's cooking the water comes out and it's just gonna it's just enough to cook the greens so after that after all the water are starting after you see that the water is starting to dry i don't know why i'm stuttering today but after you realize that all the water is drying up and the and you just see like the oil bubbling on top of the greens like this like how you're seeing on the video it's actually time for you to add your meat so you can add your the meats that you cook i actually cooked my meat all the way um they were fully cooked so i didn't after adding it to my soup i didn't really need to cook the um so after adding your meat, you're just going to leave the soup to cook for about 15 to 10 minutes on very low heat. And then the soup is ready. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, so let me tell you guys about this website. It's called African Supermarket. And I know some of you guys have been um, asking where do I usually get my African food. And I always tell you guys that I get it from my local African stores. Well, with this website, you guys could go on it and actually get African food and African items, African fabrics, um, African decorations, African... Um, beads and stuff they sell african clays like they sell a base almost everything on this website they are an upcoming business so they're still um adding more things to the website i just recently ordered the red oil and it tasted so fresh and so nice with my um red oil because i believe i'm definitely going to order more so if you have the chance just go on this website they have a lot of things that you will be interested in like fufu i'm saying they have masks they have makeup they have all kinds of things just go and show your support to your african brothers and sisters just go there and just check it out the link will be down in the description box